morning. Good morning. Morning. Well, it's six o'clock on the west coast. So that means it's nine o'clock <laughs> on the east coast. And we seem to have brought Monterey weather with us because it's kind of sprinkling and cold. So had a pretty decent night's sleep at a friend's house. Now we are off to go to the ESPN Wide World of Sports Complex. That's a mouthful. The Wide World of Sports Complex. I gotta pick up my race information, my bibs, um, the commemorative shirts that I get because I registered, and obviously try to get some merchandise. And then after that, we are going to Hollywood Studios. Yep, so we got our Star Wars on, represent. I got my red ears because obviously um, red and black and white, Kylo Ren. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah let's see what um what madness there is to be on day two of the expo we finally made it and i'm freezing it's very windy <sighs> And there's a little bit of sprinkling. I think first you gotta go in the arena to pick up the bibs and then we can make our way to merchandise because that's gonna be the longest wait. <laughs> for the 10k and G for the half. So towards the end. All right, so got, got my bib, which is kind of tricky to hold up because it is very windy right now. Um, but at so least the, the water stopped. <laughs> yes, it's just windy as you can tell from our hair and probably the audio. But now we're going to head over to the merchandise, the Disney merchandise. Oh my goodness gracious. And I also need to get my commemorative shirts. And then we'll go to Hollywood Studios. We finished, let's see, we got there like just when it had opened. We were standing in line and I looked and I was like, it's 10.04, how come the line's not moving? It's because they literally just opened the door. Yep. So we were there at least an hour and 45 minutes. Unfortunately, the um, Princess Half Marathon specific spirit jersey was nowhere to be found. So I'm only assuming that everyone bought them out 
last night and early this morning. The first thing that we did when we came was I went to go get my bibs. I guess I didn't realize that you could have gone to the merchandise building without your bib. So if there were any leftover from yesterday, people probably already swiped them because by the time we got in there, um, after I got my commemorative shirts and everything, they only had the Run Disney Spirit Jersey that was available for the Disney World Marathon in January. But still, it's pink and it has Run Disney on it and it's better to get mm -hmm. something better than And it's than got nothing. the fade, so it has pink that goes fades yes, down to the white so it bottom. has ombre, so it starts yeah. with like a nice pinky purple and then it fades to white, which is cool because I don't have a white Spirit Jersey. Yep. I did get um, a car magnet with the half marathon weekend uh, design on it. I'll put that on the refrigerator. I don't feel like putting my magnets on my car just because I remember when we had our van as kids, we had one of those antenna um, Mickey Mouse heads and someone stole it when we went to the movies. Once mm. we went to into the movie and when we came out, it was gone from my car. Wood. And it's like, I see people, you know, driving with their annual pass holder magnets on their cars all the time. And I just think... You know, you must be really confident that rude people aren't going to swipe it. Or they use super um, glue. Maybe. So, yeah, I got the jersey, I got the magnet, and then, of course, I had to get the Pandora Run Disney charm, and I didn't anticipate how expensive it was going to be. And, unfortunately, a lot of places are not accepting the Disneyland annual pass holder discount. You Only would need Disney the World. You would need the passport, like the premier annual pass to get the discount, or be a Walt Disney World annual pass holder. I just feel like, look, I'm loyal to Disney, I'm loyal to the mouse, can't you just give me the discount? But I know regulations and policies and they have to follow through if they want to keep their jobs, just like I have policies when I'm a teacher and if I want to keep my job. But if they can give me the perks, I'm, I'm still going to ask all day and while we're here for the trip, I'm still going to ask, do you accept Disneyland pass holder discounts? Because you never know, you, you really don't. Mm -hmm. We're going to go to Hollywood Studios. I am hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh so and of course i need I to find i need to find my starbucks mug so i think i'm gonna have like second breakfast for starbucks what about second breakfast and we have fast passes thanks to our friend scott who has helped us out because he's um a resident and an annual pass holder and so, an amazing guy and he's a really cool guy and his two boys that we have met are really adorable Next time, I just have to meet his lovely wife and their third most recent addition to their family. So let's go to Hollywood Studios. We are here. All right, here we are. Let's do it. So what is it? This carrot is, cake? This is a carrot cake cookie from Starbucks, which is massive. More like a miniature cake. <laughs> All right, taste test. <laughs> what do you think? It's good. I have no idea why they can call it a cookie, other than that it's round, but good carrot good? cake. What would you rate it? Oh goodness, here, ah, here comes the wind. Hopefully my ears don't fly off my head. <laughs> what would you rate it? Like one being, I probably won't get it again, or five being like, oh no, I definitely need to have this. This is like a three. Like this okay, is solid, so you could, you know, if you're like in a craving for carrot cake, you could do with it or without it. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, like, I enjoy it, but I probably, unless I just like saw it and was like, mm, I'm kind of hungry right now, wouldn't go seeking it out. Okay.
freezing. It's very windy. At least for me. <laughs> I think we waited how long? Two two uh, hours almost? Almost two hours. It was it was uh the thing said 105 minutes and it was maybe about 105, 110 minutes. Yeah, because the thing was my Fitbit was still on California time, but then I think when I turned my data on to look at the app, it switched over to Eastern time and so um, I can't remember exactly when we got in line. I wasn't checking my watch. But I loved it. It was the one thing I wanted to do in Hollywood Studios, so check that off my list. So. The one thing that we got to do for Carl is he would like to see the Indiana Jones like stunt show. Um, and that's not like a ride that you wait for um, like all day. It's a specific time. So we got to check the times. But before we have a fast pass for, um, for Midway Mania, we are going to get some lunch in Batu. I think we want to get the Ronto wraps. And then we'll go back to um, get our fast pass. Well, the fast pass is on the yeah. van. So we'll use our fast pass. So yeah, now we're in Batu. Yep. Welcome to Star Wars. Gertie's the first animated character ever in the world, in case you didn't know, because I didn't know. Yep. They have like a, this is like a little ice cream pop-up stand. It's still freezing cold, uh -huh. but... Sylvia's dying. <laughs> she has I don't minutes think, left to live. I don't think I've been this cold in a long, long time. You would think, okay, we're going to Florida. It's supposed to be warm or even humid. So if the temperature looks like it's going to be cold, don't worry, the humidity will kind of even it out. No, it's colder than Monterey. Um, so we had lunch in Batu. we had the Ronto wraps. Oh, well, I had the Ronto wrap, he had a... I had the Endor wrap. Endor wrap with like cucumbers in it. They, they say it's chicken, but I know, and you know, that it's actually... Uh... It's Ewok meat! Oh no. They're, they're free range though. I don't, don't want to eat Ewok. They live happily. So we had lunch, and then we went back over to um, ride Toy Story uh, Midway Mania, and we just kind of almost walked on that ride, and that was fun, and I think I won. <laughs> yep. Yeah, no, I, I had, I, I got 133,000, and Sylvia had 159,000. She yeah. kicks my butt at that game every time. And then we came back through because we're going to go see the Indiana Jones Stuntman Show. Um, and that's going to be the last thing we do. Well, we did check in some shops and we got some stuff. I mostly got stuff. Uh, <laughs> let's be honest. I got, I got yeah, some cards. Postcards. Postcards. We're going to yes. mail a postcard from Disney World. They're holographic. Yeah. Well, lenticular holographic. Yeah. Um, I did see a cast member and she had like a big board of pins and now I can't even see where she went. I got distracted because I actually brought pins for once to try to trade. And my goal is to try to find, you know, foreign ones, like something from Tokyo Disney Sea, like a Shelley May or something. But anyway, we should probably go for the stunt show, and then that's the last that we're gonna do because I have to get off my foot, both of my feet, but one in particular. Um, we're gonna have to have an early dinner because I have to be in bed by eight o'clock. to dad. Oh my dear. Uh, it looks like it might rain. Um, so now gotta go home, soak my feet, have dinner, and yep. be in bed in like two hours. So yep. yeah. So gotta get up tomorrow morning at 2 a.m. at the latest. Yeah, pretty much. But no, it was good, right? Mm -hmm. We had a good time, Hollywood Studios. We didn't get to do every every single oh, thing. 
like Smuggler's Run, Star Tours, like that sort of stuff, um, the Aerosmith roller coaster. But you know, we both picked like the one thing that we wanted to do the most, and we got to do that. So yeah, it was good. So now we're gonna go in the car where it's warm, but it's probably like a 10 minute walk to the car. <laughs> Almost 8.30, it's time for bed because I have to get up at 2 a.m. for the 10K. I can't believe I'm about to do this, or at least I'm gonna try my best. I really, really, really hope that I can finish, but all I can do is my best. It's better to have started and not finished than to never start at all. So, fingers crossed that my ankles and my feet can keep it together so that I can get this 10K done and enjoy the rest of the day.